This is the drawer where I keep bits. Drill bits, router bits, hex bits. They always come with their own little boxes, which take up a lot of space and add an extra step when I want to grab something. I've already designed some 3D printed holders for the router bits and hex bits and thrown away all their little boxes. Now I'll do the same thing for the drill bits. So the plan is to replace these four boxes with my own custom printed trays. So I made the sketch to start thinking about how I want to lay out the slots for all the drill bits. I'm going kind of overboard on this thing because I don't want to outgrow it. So I'm doing a slot for every drill bit size from 1 16th of an inch all the way up to half an inch. And I'm doing it in 1 64th of an inch increments. And each of these slots is going to be wide enough to fit at least three drill bits side by side, plus deep enough to stack a layer or two. So if I printed this thing out like this, if I designed it this way with them all lined up in a row, this thing is like almost 30 inches long, which is too big for the drawer and way too big for my printer. So I have to break it down into smaller trays, uh, which will be printable and also much easier to manage and fit in my drawer. So that's what these rectangles down below represent, is these are the approximate sizes of the four trays I'm gonna make that will each hold you know, a collection of slots each. And I'm gonna make these trays stackable so that I can take up a little bit less of a footprint in that drawer. All right, now to start the tedious process of actually laying out these slots and designing these trays. So it was about four hours of catting time to get to this point. The trays are done, but I still need to do some text layout. I added a chamfered lip to the top and chamfered sides on the bottom so that when I stack these, they sort of align with each other nicely. And I added two features to make it easier to get the drill bits out. So the first is these cutouts, so you can get your fingers in there. And the second is these impressions at either side. So you can push down on the drill bit on one end and cause the other end to pop up so you can grab it easily. The tricky thing to get right is gonna be the text. I wanna make sure it's readable I'm not sure if it should be holes like I have it here or if they should pop out or if I should be doing multiple colors and what colors have good contrast and what sizes look good printed and yada, yada, yada. So I don't want to be printing this whole part over and over again as I try to get the text right. So I made the text a separate insert piece. So I can print this whole tray once, which should take maybe 20 hours for this smallest tray and over 24 hours for the largest one. And then I can print these little insert pieces over and over again, which it only take probably less than an hour each as I kind of figure out what text layout makes the most sense. Something I've added to the smallest insert is uh, screw sizes. So if I'm using a number eight wood screw, it's telling me that I should use the 7 64th of an inch drill bit if I'm using softwood. If I'm using hardwood, I should use the 1 8th of an inch drill bit. I found a chart online that gave those recommendations. I'm printing the largest tray now and it's been over an hour. We can see there, one hour and 12 minutes and it's still on the first layer. The filament I'm using is printed solid industrial runoff glitter. It's a really fun semi-transparent yellow with glitter. Kind of a ridiculous color to print this out with, but it's one of the few things that I have a whole roll of and why not use something fun? Here's another print I've done with the same filament. It's the charging stand for my Apple Watch. And now the biggest tray is done and it took a mere one day, 42 minutes and 19 seconds. All right, just one more tray to go. Here are the different iterations of the text insert I went through. The original plan was something like this with holes for the lettering that you would then see the yellow through. But this text, as you can see, is very hard to read and the surface finish is awful. So the next version was here with raised text and then I did a filament change so I could do one color for the plate and then another color for the text. But you can see that the contrast isn't good enough here between the yellow and the purple and I still didn't like my surface finish. And the solution for a better surface finish was to go to fewer layers, was to print a little bit thinner and that's what this is. This is pretty good. And then I did three different versions of this, different color combinations. And finally decided that what I liked the best was this one here with the orange text on the sort of army green color.
I thought this was going to be a quick, easy project, but it ended up being like six hours of 3D modeling, followed by like 90 hours of 3D printing. But I'm really happy with the result, and I know I'm going to use these a ton. And now whenever I need to grab a drill bit, instead of being irritated by those dumb little boxes, I'll be delighted by my glittery yellow trays. So if you want to print these yourself, you can do that. I will put the files up on Thingiverse, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. I'll also upload the files for my router bit trays and my hex bit trays. Thanks for watching.